What up, what up, what up? What's good, good people? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of B-Tech Productions. Today, we're going to get into Adobe Premiere Pro again and figure out how to fade out music. Uh, the easiest way, I'll give you two ways on how to do it, but I think the easiest way is going to be my second way. Okay, so let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and share our screen. You got it again. You are a smart cookie, I must say. All right, cool. So, all right, cool. So we have a song in here, and um, the first thing I'll do is go to effects controls. <laughs> I go to effects controls, and I'll take the level. I'll take it down to like negative fifteen, so it won't be too loud in your in you guys' ear. Okay. So this is music that I always use getting towards the end me personally i think that's tacky for the songs to just cut off and you know if you have pictures or a video up here and the song just cuts out no bueno no good okay so we're going to figure out how to uh how to like kind of fade this out so the first way that i found out how to do it uh, was when i was new to premiere is using the keyframe okay so what we would do so this whole video is set at negative 15 decibels okay and we can tell that because of this keyframe i'm sorry this keyframe right here and the fact that you don't have any other keyframes okay so it's set at negative 15 so that's good so the what you could do is set another keyframe so boom and then from from this point to this point bring the volume down okay so then we're going to go to the end which you can do by pressing down and then set in one more keyframe so i'm sorry i deleted it on accident all right so we go to the previous keyframe which is right here um and actually i'm sorry we'll go to the last keyframe and we'll bring this all the way down to like 281 which then it turns into negative infinity okay so then we'll, you can actually see right here this slope is going down all the way down okay it's a nice little fade out right um i like this this is cool whatever i think a better way of doing this though and I can delete these two keyframes. Going into your effects and then type in exponential fade or EXPON. So then you would take this and then it's under audio transitions. Take this, put it right there. And it's gonna do the same exact thing so also if you click on it too you can set the duration for more or less frames so if we do it for five frames it's going to be a shorter fade out more sudden right so but if we do it for because that was for one second um let's do it for 10 Let's do it for, let's do it for a hundred. So I like that. Me personally, I like that way better because all you have to do is take the exponential fade, type it in, take it over here, put it on the track, and then you're done. You know, you could even do it on the front part as well exponential fade sorry exponential fade uh, I'm gonna bring this up there we go if you want the music to fade in and then we're fading out nice I like that a lot right real easy real simple tutorial today nothing too crazy you know um let me know if this helped 
Let me know in the comments, you know. We'll see you in the next video. Remember to always be smooth.